On to Q2 in South Africa and a bad start for Oliver Eriksson. A good start though for Mark Cronje who beat De Borg down to turn one. The crowd liked that and they liked this even more, cutting the nose off on the way into turn two, racing hard. Good result so far, he was looking like he was going to set a decent time, but Dubourg got ahead of him at the merge, and then unfortunately Cronje had to pull off to the side of the track, so we think mechanical failure, unlikely to make it to the semi-finals, but the crowd gave him a huge round of applause when he jumped out of the Albertech run 208. Timmy Hansen on the inside here, around the outside of him, Hakenen. That allowed Baumannis to go from P4 up to P2 in one move. Fantastic stuff from turn one to turn two, expecting the racing to be really exciting through there through the rest of the weekend. Kevin Hansen with damage from all that contact in the second corner. Baumannis took the flag, pretty impressive time too. On to the next one, Ekstrom diving towards the inside to try and find a way through, gets into the back of Scheider. Ericsson's up behind him, has a look up the inside, lobe sideways around the outside, and then contact for him from Timozianov behind. So really, really exciting, the right-left combination, which we've seen at a few events this year, proving to be good for action. You can see Loeb going backwards, that was because he had a front-left puncture, and that was a theme which would continue for a few people as the session went on. Ekstrom took the flag, but didn't take the fastest time. Final race of the day and the big guns were in action. Christopherson squeezed Hansen very hard indeed, the Q1 winner. Unable to capitalise on his pace from the first session, dropping back to P5. Everybody using all the kerbs. Very, very aggressive driving was proving extremely hard on the tyres. Solberg here gets squeezed by Backerud. He had a puncture, but we weren't sure if that was because he'd hit the bank after being squeezed by Backerud if he got it earlier on in the race. Teammate Christopherson comes through, wise from Solberg. Of course, he's looking to battle extra for P2 in the championship. Backward then had a problem with his own, and that allowed Ken Block through. Ken Block making the move to come through and take the checkered flag. In the background, you can see a struggling Christopherson with a puncture as well. Flag falls for the American, and it was a great performance by him. It would be enough to see him at the top of the overnight standings. Yanis Balmanis, in fact, held on to win Q2. Johan Christopherson is third. Timmy Hansen, Backward, Toppy Haken, and Kevin Hansen and Timo Scheider are your top eight. Solberg down in ninth, but Ekstrom looking tenth, and that's because he got given a five-second penalty by the stewards.